A lovely voice, Peg, like Pete, but I think it's time for us to get a move on. Oh, we mariners have a saying. There's a safe way to set sail. There's a fast way. Why can't the safe way be the fast way? Come on. Tough job. Well, you can't wait to get out of Port Charles, huh? What's the matter, Squirt? Nobody gonna miss you when you're gone? So I... Boxer briefs. Sorry. No, you're gonna ask me personal questions, I will give you personal answers. I was 12 years old, I was at sleepaway camp, and I'm totally up for it, as long as I'm in a committed relationship with an open-minded, adventurous woman. Anything else you wanna know? We're just making a point. I'll leave you to your business, you leave me to mine. Your business is to take me wherever I wanna go, and right now, I wanna go far away. Well, give me your hands. I'm already involved. I'm in a... I met someone special. You got city hands, Mr. Manning. You've been counting money all your life. I will have you know, I once built a raft and sailed it all the way from an uncharted island in the Pacific all the way to Guam. You made it all the way to Guam, did yes, you? Yes, I did. <laughs> did the raft make it? I don't need this. Hey, Barnacle Bill, get the boat ready. I don't need this. I need to get the hell away from Port Charles and every last lunatic that lives here. Let's. We ready? Aye, we're ready. As long as you don't mind if we run out of supplies or if we get stranded and we haven't got the parts to fix oh, the engine, right. Right. Arr, I get or it. The equipment this seafaring is dangerous stuff. Some damage the hall and we we'll bring our water and shiver all your timbers, and then you'll make me walk up think. All right, all right. A bit overly poetic, but at least you understand. Do you understand? I need to get to St. Blazes. St. Blazes. <laughs> Couldn't we go to Malakiva instead? No, oh, it's a tropical island. There's no extradition. It's St. Perfect. Yeah, except that the woman in charge is crazy. Yeah, but believe me, after where I'm coming from, Alex Olenoff will be a welcome breath of fresh, overly perfumed air. We really need to shove off. Well, soon enough, once our uh, other passenger arrives. Danny, I don't think we need any other passengers. I, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm paying for privacy. I'm paying for the whole boat. It's my charter. Well, it may be your charter, but it's my vessel. I'm mate, master, pilot, and I'm the captain. And I'm not sailing all the way to St. Blazes without, uh, well, just you for company. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, I, I'm good company. I'm always a big hit at dinner parties. We don't need any other passengers. Well, I don't think you have anything to worry about because our fellow passenger and you are going to get along swimmingly. Since, uh, I think she's a friend of yours. So... You know, if you had bothered to read this article, you would know what a wall-climbing whack job Heather Weber is. Well, uh, I think that, uh, that ugly mug right there is you. Next to her and the vampire lady. So I'd say you're in good company. Besides, her green is, uh, is as good as you. I will pay both fares. But we need to rid ourselves of this albatross. Wait. Did you just say albatross? I, I did. She's a cursed, cursed albatross. Really? Really. Well, it just so happens that the albatross happens to be my favorite bird. She's a cuckoo, then. But truly, the, the, the woman's head is like a clown car. Well, then you'll just have to steer clear of her on our travels because she's coming with us. Made an agreement with that woman. And she's got sense and wit and beauty and... Well, here's to swimming with bow-legged women. But she's not really bow-legged, is she? I mean, she does... She kind of waddles a little bit. But really, she stays here. What do you got against her? What don't I have against her? And she's a murderer. You've taken lives. I can tell. How can you tell? What? I'll have you know, they deserve, well, three of them deserved it. And you know what? It's a great story. It's a long, convoluted, complex, interesting tale. It's like the tides. I, I'll tell you what, we'll set sail. I'll tell you all Don't about touch it. that gear, squirt. I'm not taking you. How is that possible? I paid you cash money. Hey. No amount of green is worth this. You two escaped lunatics can figure out how to get out of the country on your own. Because I'm done with you. Wait, hey. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait one second. Can we talk up? Oh. Eh. All right. I just got to find another boat. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the baby. 
You've made it so much simpler for me to convince his mother to come with me now. You're a killer. Um, yeah, that's the idea. Hmm. You say, little man, did you enjoy the show? Oh, you want to get out of here? Well, then away we go. Hey. You are not going anywhere with that kid. Give me the baby, John. But I've already become rather fond of him, too fond to give him up. But I assure you, no harm will come to this boy. Hasn't Sam been through enough? Sam, I still haven't gotten used to that. Okay, don't get me wrong. I'm thrilled that you're a crackhead or you're hooked on angel dust or whatever the hell is going on with you. But seriously, dude, you could... You had to throw her in the drink? Oh, you saw that. Yeah, I saw that. You, of all people, you could have killed her. How could you do something like that? It was surprisingly easy. <gasps> there you have it, I guess. You've been right all along. Ladies and gentlemen, the real John McMahon. You saw what I was capable of, and you still confronted me. Yeah. I'm impressed. Hey, wait a minute, aren't you one of the ones that they're looking for? Aren't you supposed to be on the run? A word of advice, buddy. Keep running. Give me the kid, then I'll run away. Don't play the fool. Too late for that. Look, I've already seen that kid separated from his mother once. I'm not gonna let that happen again. Give me the kid. Last chance. Keep walking. No, your last chance. You give me the kid, I'll give it back to his mother. You let me take care of his mother, all right? Now, bye-bye. Let you leave here with Sam's baby. Kindly release your grip on the baby buggy. Or what? Well, you'll no longer have hands to grip with. I'll take my chances. Okay, as you want. Still, friends are here, John. And I can't wait to tell them what their favorite detective did to Heather Weber. So what's it gonna be? 